again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and welcome to the Absolute Beginners series of guitar tutorials. If you're actually joining part way through the series, I'd recommend you do these uh, in order. So I'll put a link in the information section down there to part one so you can start and go through these in order. Uh, see you back here once you've been through the earlier tutorials. Now I want to look at doing something a little bit more complex with the, the picking hand. What we were playing before was a very strict one, two, three, four sort of picking pattern with that bass line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What I want to do is play twice as many notes. So instead of playing one, two, three, four, we're going to play something that's counted as one and two and three and four and. You probably find you can't just play twice as many notes in the, at the same speed. You'll need to slow this down a little bit. It doesn't matter. As I keep saying, work at a speed that you're comfortable with and then you can build the speed up as you become more proficient. Don't worry about the speed for now. It's more important that you get the technique right and the timing and it's nice and smooth and you've got all the technique and the accuracy down. So let's start off with an A again. So we'll start off on an A, we'll go to an E, we'll go to a G, we'll go to an A. Now I don't want to make things too complicated, so this pattern is going to use exactly the same notes. We're just going to pick them slightly differently. So instead of just playing one note on the A, we're going to play it twice. Now remember I said you need to play it with upstrokes and downstrokes. So what we're going to do is play that A with a downstroke with the right hand, and then bring the pick up again, and play it a second time but with an upstroke. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're going to play the A note twice. Down, up. Then we're going to play the next note in the pattern, that E. We're going to play that twice, with a downstroke and an upstroke. Now remember when we're playing this one, one note each time, we're playing it down, up. So you're playing an upstroke on that, uh, on that E note. But what, it's not about using an upstroke for the E note, it's about playing alternately with downs and ups. So playing down, up, so we're ready for a downstroke now, which means the first time we'll play this note, we'll play it with a downstroke, and we're going to play it a second time with an upstroke. So we've got down, up, down, up. Next note is this G, and we're going to play that with a downstroke, but instead of just playing it a second time we're actually going to play that E. So keep your finger on the, the, the E note at the 7th fret after you've played it because we're going to play the G followed by the E then we're going to play the G again followed by the A. So it's down what we did with the basic pattern and we can move it around through the full 12 bar blues chord progression. It might take you a little bit of practice before you're ready to start moving it around. So just concentrate initially on being able to play that smoothly, evenly, getting the coordination between your picking hand and your fretting hand and playing it as a strict one and two and three and four and nothing stuttery, nice and smooth. So once you can play that through and you're comfortable, we can start moving that whole thing around and play the 12 bar blues progression using that pattern, but playing with two notes per beat. And it sounds like this. and think about what we've uh, looked at in this this sort of module. Uh, came in knowing how to play 12 bar blues in the key of A, but now know how to play it in the key of D, and how to play it in the key of G. 
You came in knowing three chords, A, D and E, but you now also know how to play a G chord and how to play a C. I've also looked at playing a lead line. Again, just using two fingers, playing that walking bass line, but there's some really useful techniques. You've learned how to play single notes, one after the other, working more on the alternate picking. So when you're playing a lead line, it's much more strict, down, up, down, up, compared to when you're playing chords and you're, you're strumming down more. And we've learned how to play that, that bass line type of pattern and how to move it around and understand, hopefully now, how the notes of that lead line, how they relate to the chords that we're playing when we're playing a, a 12 bar blues chord progression. And lastly, we've learned how to do something a little bit more complex with the picking hand by playing two notes per beat rather than just one. Now, there's a whole load of more stuff to learn, but before you move on to that, make sure that you're comfortable with all the stuff we've covered so far. And as I said, don't run before you can walk. It's up to you to keep an eye on what you're doing and make sure yeah, you are playing everything right. Keep checking your technique. You are definitely using alternate notes. Are you sure that the timing of the notes that you're playing them, it's a very smooth one and two and three and four and, and when you're changing chords, that you'll be able to move from one chord to another without breaking the smoothness of, of what you're playing. Make sure it's all right before you move on to learn anything, anything else. Like I say, it gets a bit tedious and you think, oh, I'm, I'm frustrated, I want to move on and learn new stuff. But you need to master one thing really before you move on to, on to the next. Now, one word you'll have heard me use a lot um, during these tutorials is blues. You know, we're playing the 12 bar blues chord progression. And I think, is this the sort of stuff that only applies to me if I want to be a blues player? No, it's not. Blues is a great foundation. I think all the rock guitar players at some point have learned blues. And most guitar players learn blues uh, early on and either stick with it and become blues guitar players or they move on and learn other st styles and other techniques and become rock players or whatever. But the, the concepts we learn, like the 12 bar blues chord progression and some of the, the notes that we're using for these bass lines, it's really, really fundamental stuff and it'll stand you in good stead whatever style of music you want to play. That in mind, let's look at a scale now. I'm going to start introducing the idea of scales and scales that you can use to start playing more complex lead lines. 